Hi, welcome to the vlog. It's Sunday. I'm leaving where I left off the last vlog. I just closed it out. Yes, that's still in the back of my car if you've noticed it. It was supposed to go to Gentry's teacher, but of course can't see her. So it's hanging out in my car so as not to enter back into my home. I'm sitting outside of Aldi. I'm about to do a quick grocery run and head home for the week uh, to gather up supplies for this week's um, lessons. I am only doing one book this week. I'm running out of books. I thought we would be done with this by now, but I, I'm running out of kids' books that aren't heavily themed in a, in a uh, holiday and whatnot. I thought I'd show you what I do to keep safe when I'm out. First things first, I don't take my phone in. I leave my phone in the car. Just one more thing to catch germs on. And I've written out my list. Actually today, Ginger wrote out the list of what things I need to get. So it's not on my phone. And I'll throw that away before I enter back in the car. I have wet ones. I take out two and I use them to hold on to the cart. So then every time I'm picking up something, my hand goes back on the wet ones. So it's kind of like, I'm kind of washing my hands every time. So I think that that's a good trick. And then of course I have, oh, I did have, I hope I still have my, um, yes I do. My lovely thieves, I'm getting low and they don't have any more. So I'm gonna, I don't know what I'm gonna do after that. And then my mommy made me a mask. And this is the first time I'm gonna be wearing the mask out in public. So wish me luck. Um, this is actually Jigtree's nursery. What her nursery, one of the fabrics in her nursery. So it kind of makes me happy. Every time I put it on, I remember baby Gentry. Uh, so that makes me happy. So here I go. I'm going to go into Aldi, get food for my family. I'm so tired of this. Is anybody else tired of this? Everybody's tired of this. But here we go. Did it. Whew. Wearing a mask kind of wears you out. I've already cleaned my hands. Don't worry. But I did it. I went shopping with a mask on and it kept rolling up in my eyes. Anybody else have that problem? And I was trying to be like, not touching my face, but can't see, can't see. Welcome to Monday. Gentry's doing her Stop. dance class. Now How cool is it that her studio is doing Zoom dance class? She may not have a dance recital this year, but we're still practicing just in case. Gotta have faith. Lovely spring shower, my favorite. I love thunderstorms. I'm just gonna run into them. We just finished recording our last two videos of the week. It's Tuesday. We usually oh, don't wait that long. Gentry's playing in the backyard underneath Splash Pad. And it's cold. And it's cold. My parents got it off of Amazon for her Easter gift. I'm just gonna run into... Sit down in it. It's super cold. Sit. Do you think I want... While she's doing that, I'm in my bathing suit too, and I am going to work on editing these videos for the rest of the week and rock in the rocking chair and enjoy the outside. And I'm and cold. I'm cold. Fun times. Ginger is doing some schoolwork today, but Welcome I wanted to show you. Miss Axelotl gets hungry. Her gillies turn a little bright red. 
to we'll see if she'll eat for two years. She does a little dance. Of the United States. Oh, I skirt her. This city is the capital of the United States. Girlfriend. President Lincoln did not let the country break apart. What you... happened at the White House? He's my little scrawny dude. The Liberty Bell is a huge bell that stands for freedom. The bell rang when the United States became... All right, it's Tuesday night and I'm hanging out on the couch doing laundry. And I thought I'd share with people who don't live in Oklahoma. We've only been here, it'll be two years in June. So it was right after tornado season or right towards the end of tornado season. And it wasn't that bad. But last, so last year was our first full tornado season. And I thought I'd show you what thunderstorm coverage is like here. Cause it's not, if you've only lived in Oklahoma your whole life, this isn't typical for any other place we've ever lived. So I thought I'd show you, we're about to have thunderstorms here and this is the coverage. Go and uh, go. Uh, here now, people are just trying to get uh, back home right now. Between so on nights like tonight, where there's a bunch of storm cells, they have storm chaser videos. They're showing the hail. There's the storm. So no, no regular TV show broadcasting. Here we go. Uh, that's happening right now that's going to be out by Binger, Albert, North and Gracemont. We live because in the Oklahoma City area. Oh, yeah. So whenever you see that black on the radar, that's going to be our radar beam that's hitting some very large hail. That's going to be uh, up a lot. So when you see that, that's that's some big hail. The atmosphere is going to keep that big hail as it comes into Oklahoma City. So as we extend the storm track in here, you can see Union City. So yeah, I thought I'd show you guys because it was a really, it was kind of a, new thing for us last spring when we had to learn about not ever getting to see your primetime TV shows. Welcome to Oklahoma. It's a belly washer. I don't know if you can see the hail. There's a little bit of hail in it. Hi guys. Ooh, I'm looking rough. We made it to Friday and we are going to make a special treat today that is our fam one of our family favorites. My sister-in-law already made it for her house. My mom's made it for her house over this quarantine this week. And now we're gonna make it because every time we FaceTime them, it sounds delicious. What are we making, Gentry? Lemon lasagna. What are you wearing? A lemon dress. For lemon lasagna. It's an easy one. Are you ready? I'll put the ingredients somewhere on the screen, but Gentry's gonna share with us. The first thing we need is so we're gonna need a Cool Whip. We did extra creamy um, cream cheese, golden Oreos. Or you can use lemon Oreos. We like golden better. And two packages of lemon um, pudding. And you're gonna need three cups of milk. We're gonna need butter. You have to wait for it to soften. Right. We're gonna melt one of the butters. We're gonna melt the six ounces of butter in a small bowl. Is this You'll do that, Gentry. Do the bowl. Is this yes, you're gonna unwrap it. Okay, and then stick it in the microwave for 30 seconds. And while you're doing that, I'm gonna put the golden Oreos in this Ziploc bag and then have you crush them. Ooh, yeah. You can do lemon Oreos, but they almost are too, it's like too much lemon for this lemon lasagna. And if you have I a like food processor, you can put the Oreos in the food processor to crush, but we just do it by hand. Yes, because I love crushing things. Do you need a, a utensil? No. I got too dizzy from spinning in my dress. Or 
pouring in the six tablespoons of margarine. Which is margarine? It's better, actually. I would have used margarine. And now you're going to mix with your hand like this. Can I mix it? It's all the butter in there. Next, we've got our softened butter and our softened cream cheese. Cream cheese! Powdered sugar and half the Kool Whip. Um, one cup of powdered sugar. Can you get a cup? Shake it a little. Shake it a little more. Oh, there it is. Okay, we're going to use our boat layer with a whisk attachment, I think. this first because it's certainly a lot easier to clean. Can I try? Yeah. Let me get it started though because I don't want the powder sure to go in trouble. Why? This is supposed to be 16 ounces of Cool Whip and this is only 8 ounces. Ah. Ah. We're improvising. I think I have a sweet condensed milk and we're gonna do that instead of cool it. What if it turns out bad? Well, it won't turn out bad if sweet and condensed milk is delicious. Will it taste the same? Okay, you're supposed to put six ounces of eight ounces of cool whip in here, but we're gonna actually do and see how 14 it ounces out. of sweet and condensed milk. Last time we didn't follow the direction, it looked out burnt. Yeah, but was it still delicious? Yes. But, but hopefully it doesn't look burnt again. I've never once mixed cream cheese and sweet and condensed milk and been sad about it, so. I knew what I know now that I don't have enough whipped cream I would have honestly not put the butter in here and would have just done the sweet condensed milk the block of cream cheese and then powdered the sugar so good and probably half the powdered sugar so we'll see how this works you need to open up both of the jellos both of them oh my goodness exactly perfect three cups of milk boom Smells so good. Smell it. Smell it. Okay, now pour the milk in. Clean it. It's already turning into pudding. Okay, hold on, hold on. I don't know if it's, it's not gonna look anything like what my mom does. It's gonna taste good. Yeah, but it's not gonna look like anything. Oh! And I got the whoops creams. Cool whip. Eight ounces. You know what we're gonna do? We're actually gonna cover it like this, let it set up, put that back in the refrigerator and we'll put that on last minute. So we'll show you the end of our recipe tonight at dinner. Here's the finished product on the lemon lasagna with our mistake. Listen, it tastes good, it tastes great. It also tastes like you could get diabetes. I recommend going with the original way of making it. This way is delicious too, but it's just really killer sweet. Hey.